So a company called Ragnar kindly sent me a very interesting gaming mouse to review. So this mouse is a shape of a gun grip, hence it's categorized as a vertical mouse, which means it's ergonomically friendly. So those who actually have a carpal tunnel pain, you should definitely get one of these. Plus, if you're really into first person shooting game, then this is definitely the mouse that you should get. So on top of the mouse, we got the DPI button. On the trigger side, we got the left and the right. On the side, there's a metal roller. On the back, there's a fire button, which you can customize as well. It has a flare base for keeping it stable. So this also comes with the blue switch triggers, and it actually has a vibration feedback. That's very interesting. Optical PixArt PAW of 3335, which is 16,000 DPI. And you can actually use it for either wired or 2.4 G of wireless as well. So I'm really excited to do the unboxing and actually try out some of the first person shooting game that I actually have. Also, I want to try out on the AutoCAD mode as well to see how ergonomically friendly it is. So enough said, let's get on to it, shall we? So here it goes. So pull this one out and home of truth. Cool, look at that. Born for FPS, Ragnarok. If we open it up, <laughs> look at that. So we actually have the mouse kind of light feel like a toy so far we also have the stand as well oh cool the usb-c that you actually can plug in for wireless connection as well and a different option of the trigger button cool i'm gonna prefer this one actually and lastly we've got the usb to usb-c rather longish version which is really good so you can always charge it if you need to so for the overview of the mouse again, we've got the DPI button on the top, the metal scroll, the trigger button feels kind of light, the texture of a gun with the Ragnar logo on it, that's very cool. We've got the USB-C port with a small indicator light, I presume red for charging and green or something else to be fully charged. And on the bottom of it, we've got the actual standard mouse lighting and a power on and off button and lastly a vibration on and off as well which is really interesting you got a bit of a grip here which is very useful to actually make you feel like a mouse so i guess the way you assemble it is you take out this and put it into your pc and then mount this on the back of your mouse and that's quite firm actually so it's well settled and so on lastly let's replace this trigger button with a actual metal one so it makes it more interesting indeed so all you need to do is just push that in and it's all good to go and this i can guarantee you feels much better indeed just as i predicted when you actually charge it and it needs charging it's on the red and when it's fully charged i think it's going to be either blue or green okay so we're on the autocad here so let's do some lines initially so let's do one two three five six enter and uh, you can zoom right in i think i probably zoomed too much out so zoom in and out i think the thumb training needs a bit of a requirement here and let's do a horizontal of 1000 which should be much shorter as you can see so zoom in that's how you do it now if you actually press the um, middle button or the uh, side metal scroll then you can do this. This is very important people for AutoCAD as you all know, you press and you move around just like you're holding a paper. So that's very good indeed. Zoom in and out again. So let's do a bit of a zigzag line here as well. That feels really nice indeed. It's like bang, bang, bang. <laughs> and then you could actually link it up to the final line here. Now I actually noticed early on, trying to actually meet that point can be quite challenging initially, but once you train it up, that's all fine. So let's do a bit of a hatch as well. Choose the solid, and then there you go. That looks really artistic, doesn't it? Zoom in and out, and then select and delete. Yeah, so that's all good. So select these two lines to delete, and that's how it looks and if you want to zoom in and choose these two lines to delete select and delete so that's very simple indeed well done okay so let's play call of duty 4 which is one of my favorite of all time so new game yes sas yeah oh look at that that's nice actually actually using this mouse to do the vision scrolling and it's more settled isn't it so up and down left right that's pretty cool 
So let's actually go and choose this. You know the drill. Go to station one and have your rifle down range. Okay, so probably the DPI is a bit too high. Okay. Right mouse to aim. Shoot each target while aiming down the Okay, that's very good. Okay, so probably um no. But let's actually make it more or less of a stress settle. I think that's better, isn't it? So I actually lowered the DPI. Okay, so. Oh, that's really good. Okay, man. Without the zoom in. So. Good. Yep. Thin, okay, so that's really good. Yep, do it, man. Okay. Oh, that feels much better, actually. Ergonomically friendly as well. Okay. So once I actually adjusted the DPI button, it's much better. So that's a cool tip for you. Actually, I'm thinking about whether I should use this button for stabbing or changing the mag. I think I'm leaning towards to changing the mag, which would be a really good idea. Right, so I actually figured out that on the reload weapon, I could actually choose the middle mouse, or if I want to do the uh, melee attack as well, I could also choose the um, this button, middle mouse, I think that would be quite nice. So I could choose either the melee attack or the uh, reload weapon to be the middle mouse button. And I think that would be such a nice sort of useful button to have. So as you can see, if I do a shooting here, I just need to press this. There you go. That's so much of a convenience, isn't it? The middle button, shoot and reload. Yeah, that's really good. And if I want to go to the controls, and then on the combat, do the melee attack for the middle. Then there you go. That's so much better. I wish there was another button that I could use. But um, yeah, both of them are quite good anyway. Yeah, probably this might be the one. As long as it's actually reload by itself, that is. I guess one of the joy about this all of a sudden change is that suddenly your right hand side is upgraded with the actual feeling of a gun but on the left hand side you got the keyboard that you have to press in here which is like a bit of a downgrade to your keyboard so I guess I have to find the alternative but I surely do love the fact that I can actually press the <laughs> shooting button like a real gun this is the biggest fun i have to say it's so much fun all right so let's try the pubg as well let's choose some weapons now for aim just need to press this reload it nice yeah you, you do need a bit of a time to focus but i guess it actually depends on the dpi and your brain training up to it so yeah it does feel like a proper shooting as well doesn't it so yeah that's really nice let's actually shoot that thing over there as well reload get out get out get out stop working get out anyway so that's how it goes scrolling wise again it's really nice so i'm actually doing an eight or infinity sort of gesture here very cool indeed so i turn on the vibration button so when i actually press a singular shot of the gun that's quite nice it actually vibrates at the same time but if i were to press it on a long sort of holding of constant shooting it actually vibrates going zzz, 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 zzz which is not synchronized with the actual game. So it's a bit of a letdown there. And what I find a bit annoying is that um, if you're not sh in the shooting mode and you need to choose some option by pressing the left mouse button technically, every single time it vibrates. So some people might like it, but I personally don't actually, but I just want to make sure you're aware of this. 
There you go. Now, this gaming mouse from Ragnar is really cool indeed. It's the crossbreed of a virtual gun at the same time as well. Now, I wish there was an option that you can add a bit of a weight on it because I find this mouse to be a bit lighter than what I imagine it to be. I always traditionally liked a heavier gadget than a lighter gadget. Somehow, it gives me a sense that it's more expensive when it's actually heavier for some reason. Now, the actual left and the right button is a bit wobbly, but it's like a mouse. I guess that's why it's wobbly and it's supposed to be this way and so on but the actual vibration mode every time when you press the left button the vibration comes on in other words it's not synchronized with the fps game that you play on so i wish in the future they could actually develop the software side of it so that it's synchronized with the fps game that you play now because this is a vertical mouse not only am i going to use this for first person shooting game but also i'm going to use it for cad as i shown you early on and various like office related windows software and so on i'm thoroughly going to enjoy using this mouse in D. So I hope this video showed you how cool this vertical mouse from Ragnode is. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.